Greetings! Thank you for choosing ThinSport IoT platform. Hopefully this video tutorial will help you reach your goals. At least from this video you'll find out how to visualize your data on the map widgets and how to enrich your map with attractive elements. If you want to know more about ThinSport configuration or even become a ThinSport guru, subscribe to this channel. In this tutorial I'll use ThinSport Community Edition. However, you may use live demo as well as ThinSport Professional Edition environment either on cloud or on-premises. For this tutorial we have two types of devices. These are energy meter and thermometer. They send their readings I use a dummy data from node generators for this purpose. Also, I use a generator to the district to demonstrate the capabilities of the polygons. More about it later in the video. All generators are available by the link in the description. Our devices are installed in the buildings, which are located in some districts. They represent our assets. I want to highlight my district on the map as well, so our district asset should also have an attribute coordinates. Coordinates represent array with following syntax. Each device has a server-side attribute, latitude and longitude. These attributes are necessary whenever we want to put markers on the map. Pay attention to the data format. Latitude and longitude are digits with double precession. Now let's create a dashboard that will display our things on a map. Click to create a dashboard and give it a name in a pop-up window. Here is our newly created dashboard. Open it. Specify aliases. Then choose the type of device. In our case, thermometer and energy meter. and choose Asset District. Next, we need to add the widget. From the proposed list, select the latest value map widget. Now specify data source. Put your cursor over the key field and click the left button of the mouse. You will have a list of available keys. Select the required ones. For the district, we must specify the coordinates and temperature. We'll need it for the polygon function. Done. Now we can see the thermostats and energy meter on the map. Let's also create a new state and call it the sensor details. We will get back to these settings later in the video. Now next step. Enter the edit mode by clicking edit widget button. Settings tab. This tab contains basic configuration of appearance design of the widget itself, but not what and how it renders. Let's take a closer look at these settings. Here you can name the widget, add the title, change the font size and thickness. Set the widget icon. Change its color and size. Change widget background
text color and set a border padding. In this field you may add your custom configuration. Using custom configure we can add widget border. For example 5 pixels and yellow color. Now move to advanced tab. Here you can configure what exactly and how our map widget should display the data and what optional features you want to provide from this widget, e.g. interactive tooltips specific markers and many more interesting. In the beginning, we can define the appearance of the map or which map to use. In our case, I'll choose OpenStreetMap Hot. Verify the change. Great, let's move on. From this field, you can manually adjust the map scale by entering any integer number between 0 and 20. In order to activate this feature, uncheck Fit Map Bounds to cover all markers. The larger number, the closer view you have. You can set the boundaries of the map to cover all available markers by ticking the appropriate box. Zoom in and zoom out available with scroll, but you can disable scroll if needed. Next setting is show label. This option allows you specify marker names, for example. You can turn off the label. Set automatic labeling or customize it with prepared config. Later I'll cover the detail settings of the label function. Advanced settings allow you to configure tooltip, which can contain links for example, some critical details about the entity, altered text, etc. To call a tooltip, by default you must click on a marker. Automatic closing tooltip is default. Let's see how it works. but automatic closing can be disabled. As you can see, the tooltip is not closing automatically. It's possible to open tooltip on hover. Let's see how it works. Now it's time for coordinate attributes. We can enable an active reference to the themastat details, for which we have a custom code. In order to display energy meter readings on a tooltip, we configure it in the settings. We also should specify two decimal places after the energy indicator and specify the units of measurement. By the way, the tooltip now also displays the link, but it's not active yet. The tooltip also displays the temperature for the thermometer and the energy consumption for the energy meter. Later in this video we will disclose how to set up active link on a tooltip, don't miss it. In order to split the matrix in a tooltip for different type of devices, we will use the prepared configuration. Now let's see, our thermometer displays degrees. An energy meter displays kilowatts. Next setting. Here we can customize the color of the marker and set the rules for changing the color of the marker. Manually set the color of the icon and uncheck use color function. Change the color by event. The rules for changing the color of the markers can be different. For example, we want our widget change the color of the marker if the temperature threshold violated. Copy and paste the prepared script 
You may find it in the description. Now, if the thermometer reports a temperature about 26 Celsius degrees, marker becomes red. If the value below 26, the marker is green. Check it out. Go back to State setting. Open Actions tab of our widget and add action with the following settings. We've just created the link to our device detail state, but these are not all settings. Let's move to our sensory detail state. We need to add two more widgets. For example, analog gauge. Specify the data source, temperature key, the minimum and maximum temperature that will be displayed Here is our thermometer, it displays the temperature readings. I want also add another widget that will display our latest temperature values. You can optionally change the blue color of the chart to orange, for example. Let's try how our active link from a tooltip works. It works! Next feature is a polygon. The polygon, for example, may represent the territory in which our sensor is located or represent the asset as well. There is an option to configure the rules of change in the polygon color. In this field we specify polygon color the polygon border color look at it you can play with transparency These two fields are for configuration of borders of our polygon. The polygon color function. You can configure certain conditions for changing the polygon's color. For this we have a prepared script. Basically, the rule is the same as for device and market color function. We apply the settings and here everything works, the color changes. In custom marker image section, we can upload any custom marker that we want to be displayed on the map. This is my marker. You can manually change the size of the markers in pixels. For example, let's try several different sizes. Change event icons. Remove two default markers and upload custom markers. I have a ready to use script and you will have it also. See the description, copy it to the appropriate field. If the temperature is about 26 Celsius degrees, widget will display the first marker. Otherwise, it will render the second one. Apply the change. So this was the basic configuration of our map widget. But we have more interesting. Clustering. Do you want to know about it? See ya in the next video. Thank you for watching.